we're putting the side panels on. There's two side panels, one each side of the boat. Again, the plywood is the test. We check that the top of the plywood for the transom lines up with the top of the plywood for the side panel. This has to be super accurate. And then you can put the screws in. There is an additional check here. So there's the top of the plywood and the top of the plywood all lining up. And then turn around to the side and there's no gap there. If you see a gap, it's because there's a little bump of epoxy stopping the joint from being close enough. We have another one of those towards the end of this little video where we have to remove an epoxy bump. Side panel two, plywood's level. I give the nod and hope screws in and then the same at the bottom making sure everything is close and aligned. Now for the back I can see a gap here. There's a gap where my finger is pointing. There's a little lump of epoxy in that corner that's stopping everything from pushing up really close and neat. So I'll cut it out with the saw, cutting one way and then the other way until it pops out. There it goes. Just a little bit to clean up. And now it's a perfect fit again. Plywood at the top lined up, push the gap closed, bump, make sure the gap's closed at the bottom, and then the screw goes in. Just two screws total needed for these edges. Okay, the second side, there's no problems with lumps of epoxy. Second screw, that's done. The building of the boat is a bunch of small steps. Get each one right and it will be great.